Hey my cappies, how are you guys doing? Welcome to my channel, Divine Intro Tarot. If you're new, welcome. I'm so glad to have you here. Capricorn, we are going to take a look at you and your person and see what's going on in that connection, dealing with your person. Please keep in mind that this reading is general, the energies are fluid, and the message is timeless, okay? All right, let's get into it, Capricorn. Let's see what's going on with you and your person. Um, Capricorn, somebody is hard-headed. And acting foolish. Oop. <laughs> I hope you've seen that. I don't read these cards in reverse. Not unless spirit tells me that that is in the reverse. So, yeah. And for their foolish acts, that's it. You can be done with your person because they did something that was just inadvisable. They could have did something against you in the connection. But we're going to see what's going on. Holy Spirit, Holy Angels, what messages do you have for my type of forms? And their person, hey baby. <laughs> That's a little girl coming in. <laughs> Holy Spirit. Okay. Oh, we're going to leave it right there. Capricorn. Your person is worried that you'll find out the truth. The truth about a lie, the truth about an action, foolish acts. Okay, so they're worried that you're going to find out the truth about that foolish act. You're done, done. You are done. Some of you guys are done with your person. Your person want to know, do you miss them too? Okay. So it's making me feel like you're already in separation with your person. And um, your person is, they don't have, they can't say shit. They cannot say shit about why they acted foolishly or why they did the things against you in this connection. Okay. This person never says what they mean. So it's making me feel like your person is a liar. Or they lied about something. But for you, Capricorns, it is a no for you. This connection is a no for you. Why? Because you, my lovelies, are done done. Okay? I heard, I heard some of you guys gave your person back to the streets. Okay? Back to where they came from. Sent them packing. Yeah. But they're worried about you finding out the truth about something. Okay? So we're going to see what that is. And your person is big mad because you're done done. Your person has an attitude and a grudge. Okay? They know they should have trusted you. Your person knows that they should have trusted you in this connection. It's making me feel like your person was placing blame on you. Trying to trying to accuse you. Thank you, Spirit. Um, your person was trying to accuse you of something that they were doing. This is for some of you guys. But you know that love shouldn't hurt like this. This is why you're done done, and this is why they're big mad, okay? Because love shouldn't hurt like this. Whatever they have done, it's, 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 it was uncalled for. Your spirit team got your back, Capricorns, okay? <laughs> yes, they do. Your ancestors, your spirit guides, they got your back. And this is the reason why you're walking away from this person. Like I said, you're done done with this person and this connection. Your person is having sleepless nights over you because... You walked away from them, okay? Your person stabbed you in the back. Your person stabbed you in the back. This is why you're done. And, it, and like I said, your person was placing blame on you when they were out there doing the very things that they were blaming you for doing. Like, oh my God, that is so gross. And then you already know what to do, Capricorns. You already know what to do. And what you have done was walk away from this person in this connection. Okay? Now they're pissed off. Mm -hmm. Alright, Capricorns, let's get into it. Holy Spirit, Holy Angels, what can you tell me about Big Matt? What can you tell me about Big Matt? Holy Spirit? Uh-huh. Sorry, not sorry. Okay, you really don't care about this person being mad at the fact that you walked away. Your person is low-vibing right here. Okay? They are low-vibing and they're big mad. Okay? Your person had options, and they know. They know that it was a mistake. They lost you. They lost you. This is why you walked away. Is your person, for some of you guys, your person is not sorry about what they've done. They're just sorry about getting caught. But you know that love shouldn't hurt like this. Your person is restless. Restless in their spirit, in their emotions. Because I'm feeling a sense of regret. But they're only regretting this because they got caught. Okay? They know, they know that they stabbed you in the back. 
Mm -hmm. They know that you stab, that they stabbed you in the back. And they are sorry, not sorry. They just mad they got caught. What can you tell me about I should have trusted you, Holy Spirit? What can you tell me about I should have trusted you? Please and thank you. Let's go. Okay, I got it. Thank you. Out of time. This person ran out of time. This is why they they know they should have trusted you. Trusted your word. Trusted your intentions. Trusted your motives. Trusted your love. And now they're out of time. It's too late. It's too late to apologize. It's too late to atone for their actions. And they know they made a huge mistake. Mistake in not trusting you. Now, they, there's no more time left. They can't do it. Okay, they want to come back. They want to come back. It'll be a mistake if you let this person back. Now they stressed and under pressure because you walked away. You don't want to have nothing to do with them anymore. They need your help. This is why they also too mad that they got caught because they need your help in some type of way. Okay? All right, Holy Spirit, what can you tell me about love shouldn't hurt like this? What can you tell me about love shouldn't hurt like this? Holy Spirit, let's get it. Thank you. Bad karma. Ooh. This person is receiving bad karma because they hurt you in love. And, and, and they know that it shouldn't hurt like this. But because they have hurt you so in your heart, in your emotions, they are receiving bad karma. And this is another reason why they're mad, mad. Big man. They want to argue. You cut this person off. You cut this person right on out your life because they were nobody. This person has an attitude problem. Okay? This person always places blame for the reason why they're going through the things that they're going through. Blaming you. Shoulda, woulda, coulda. If you didn't do this, I wouldn't have did that. Okay? Placing blame. Your person... Because they're receiving this bad karma. They're mad at you. They're mad at you. For the karma that they're receiving. Because they disrespected love. Okay. What can you tell me about spirit team got your back? Look, you ain't got nothing to worry about. You walking away from this person. You don't have nothing to worry about. Your spirit team got your back. Okay. You are protected. Cappies. Yes, you are. Because you know what to do. You know exactly what to do. And that was to walk away from this person. Because they stabbed you in the back. You didn't stick around for them to do it over and over and over again. Mm -mm. Not this group of Capricorns. Your person is losing everything behind the loss of you. Mm -hmm. And you do not care. Mm -hmm. You do not care. Okay. Holy Spirit, what can you tell me about Spirit Team? Got your back. What can you tell me about spirit team got your back? Thank you. Oh, yeah. They're applying the pressure. They're applying the pressure on your person. This is why they're mad at the karma that they're receiving. Because your spirit team has got that foot on their neck. And now they're stressed. Stressed and pressured. Yeah. They lost. This is a big loss for them. Okay? They lost you. Because of their low vibes. Mm-hmm. Yeah. You cut them off. After you cut this person off, they don't know what to do with themselves. Okay? They don't know. What can you tell me about sleepless nights, Holy Spirit? What can you tell me about sleepless nights? Let's get it. Okay. Bottom of the deck, karmic cycle. Okay, this is a cycle that they're going to have to complete with this bad karma because of the disrespect and love. They want your forgiveness. Your person cannot sleep at night. They have anxiety. They're, they're restless because they want your forgiveness because they know what they did to you was out of line and you didn't deserve it. And they know that it's too late. For some, them, for, some, for some of them, they know that it's too late to seek your forgiveness, to ask for your forgiveness. Okay? They know what they did to you would hurt you. Hold on, guys. I just had to let my baby out to use the bathroom. But, yeah, they know what they did to you hurt you. And they didn't give a damn. They did it anyway. 
This is for some of you guys. And now it's too late. It's too late to ask for forgiveness here. Yeah. And they're, they're, they're just... Some of them are crying at night. Wishing for another chance. Wishing for another opportunity to make things right. They want your forgiveness for stabbing you in the back. But with this sorry, not sorry, and big mad, it's making me feel like... Because you won't... Or because they feel as though they cannot earn your forgiveness, they rather have an attitude about it. Okay, then. Well, you know, it is what it is. That's what I'm hearing. They're saying it is what it is. And you said, okay, you're damn right it is what it is. Me walking away from you, it is what it is. Holy Spirit, what can you tell me you know what to do? Holy Spirit, what can you tell me about you know what to do? Let's get it. <laughs> Let's get it. Thank you. Yeah, you know what to do because this person was playing mind games with you. This person felt as though they had the upper hand or they had some type of mind control over you. And they know that that was a huge mistake. This is the reason why you walked away from them. Playing mind games, they know it was a mistake, especially with you, Capricorn. Holy Spirit is not playing with this person. This is why your spirit team got that foot on that neck and is applying pressure. And it's coming through bad karma, this bad karmic cycle, because they're not sorry. They wasn't sorry then, they sorry now. They wasn't sorry then. Mm -hmm. Yep, they got too many setbacks and losses for what they did to you. And this is why you have to separate. If you're not separated from your person and you know that they have stabbed you in the back, I think you need to separate now. Because that pressure that your spirit team is applying to your person for what they have done to you, you need to remove yourself and your energies out of the way for karma to take place. The longer you're, you're in connection with your person, the longer you're going to hold back the consequences of what they've done to you in this connection. Okay? All right. What can you tell me about walking away? What can you tell me about walking away? Yeah, they worried about you going to find out the truth about what they did to stab you in the back. Some of you already know. This is why you walked away. They're asking why. Why did you walk away from me? This is a part of the mind games that this one is playing. Acting like they don't know what they did. Acting like they don't know why you feel the way you do. Acting like they don't know that they hurt you. Knowing damn well they did it. And they know. They know exactly how they did this. Okay? You have been warned about this person. This is why you're walking away. You've been warned about this person and their portrayals and their lies. Yeah. This person with their mind games, they just, why? Why'd you do this? Why'd you say that? I mean, uh, you know the truth. And they worry. They, they, they're, they're trying to see how much you know. How much of the truth about the backstabbing that they did that you know. This is why they're playing dumb, playing naive. This person is mad, mad. Not only are they big mad, they mad, mad. Like I said, this one has an attitude problem because you left, okay? You were loyal to this person. You and your loyalty left this person, Capricorn. Mm -hmm. And now it's time to heal. It's time to heal from love, from loving this person, from being loyal to this person. Yeah, this person is crying out for you to help them now because that bad karma is on that ass. Like I said, your spirit team got that foot on that neck. And that pressure is getting tight. Okay? Holy Spirit, what can you tell me about stabbing in the back? What can you tell me about stabbing in the back? Your person with this, I don't know what I did to you type of attitude. They're lying to themselves. They believe their own lies. We have a secret lover. This is how they stabbed you in the back. And this is what they don't know if you know the whole truth about they had a secret lover here, okay? 
This is how they stabbed you in the back, Capricorn. This is why your person is sorry, not sorry. They meant to do that. They know that running around with this secret lover that was stabbing you in the back, they knew exactly what they was doing. They knew exactly how much that would hurt you, okay? Because love shouldn't hurt like this. They knew it. They knew that what they were doing was going to hurt you. They knew that it shouldn't hurt like this. This is why they're receiving bad karma. This is why your spirit team got that foot on their neck. What can you tell me about this secret lover? This one is experiencing too many setbacks and losses. Too many setbacks. This one right here could be a narc operating in narcissistic energies or have narcissistic tendencies. Mm -hmm. This is why you need to separate now from this person. What can you tell me about this secret lover? Mm. Okay. Mm. Uh -huh. They're a liar. They lied about this connection. This is why they don't want you to find out the whole truth because they've been lying about this secret person all this time, knowing they're stabbing you in the back, knowing that they're hurting you by the love that they're not giving you. This one is a liar. Also, too, they lied so much about this secret lover that shit, it's too late for your forgiveness because they lied to you over and over and over and over and over again about having somebody on the side. When you repeatedly ask them, some of you even have proof and they still lie to your face. Talking about you don't know what you're talking about. Oh, this is a misunderstanding. Oh, uh, you don't know the whole truth. This is why they worried about finding out about you finding out the truth. You ghosted them. You, 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 you don't even care anymore. And they pissed off. They pissed off. Look, you got, you got tired of wanting the answers, asking the questions. And they're pissed off. They know they made a mistake. Dealing with this secret lover. What can you tell me about worried that you will find out? What, what are they worried about? What is that? What can you tell me about worried that the collective will find out the truth, my cappies? They want you to stop asking questions. They want they want you to stop. Because they don't have no truth here. All right? they, don't have, they don't have no truth to offer you. Okay? They'd rather sweep it under the rug. They'd rather you forgive them and forget about what they have done to you. But you like, do you, boo? I'm done. It's too late. It's too late to... It's too late to set the record straight. Because I'm not asking. That record is broken. I'm not asking anymore. Mm -mm. And here we have separate now. Capricorns, if you're not separated from your person, I think you might want to look into your intuition a little bit deeper. And that'll give you the answers that you keep asking this one about. That they keep lying about with the secret lover. Use your intuition and you know exactly what to do. And when you trust your intuition, you will separate from this person. Because now, they're assaulting your intelligence. Now, it's making me feel like your person don't think that you're that bright to find out the truth about what they're doing or what they have done. This is when you have to use your intuition. This is when you have to listen to your spirit guides and your ancestors that's giving you the information and the messages about this one right here. This is when you have to trust your instinct. Okay? Let's, um, let's get a couple of more and then I'm going to wrap it up. Holy Spirit, what else can you tell me about Capricorn and their person? What else can you tell me about Capricorn and their person? Thank you. Just breathe. Now it's time to breathe. Relax. Release this person. Release them out of your energies. Connect to your higher self. Okay? Connect to your higher self. This is how you, this is how you get the answers to the questions that you seek. Your higher self is your intuition and they'll tell you the truth. Spirit can't lie. Not like this liar here. What else can't thank you? <laughs> okay. Bottom of the deck, we have seek. You see what I'm saying? Hermit energy, Virgo energy. You need to meditate, connect to your higher self, and seek the answers that you are already asking, that you already know. It's already in you to know. And then we have lead. Yeah. Seek the truth. 
the God honest truth, okay? Here we have trapped in fear. Your person is trapped in fear about you finding out the truth about this secret lover that, that they have been lying to you about, to your face. Bold face lies. Habitual lies. Now they're sitting in fear of you finding out exactly what it is that they, that they were lying about, okay? You're very, very spiritually strong. Your ancestors are building you up spiritually. This is why you need time to take out and breathe. Connect to your higher self. Because your, your spiritual strength is growing and growing by the day. The more you connect to your higher sense of self. Okay? Solar plexus chakra. Third chakra. This is a flight or fight energy. This is the, the energy that turns the will of your intentions. Capricorns, you need to connect to that. Trust your intuitions. Trust your gut feelings. Capricorn, we have manifest Aries energy. This is a magician. You are creating, cultivating something new in your life. Some type of new opportunity that you're manifesting here. Especially going with your 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 gut intentions. Manifesting answers. Okay. Here we have there we go, intuitions. High priestess energy. You have the magician and the high priestess with the spiritual strength. Damn. Because you went inside yourself to find yourself. And you've taken back the need and control of self through the, the decisions that you made in love with this harmony, this lover's energy, Gemini energy. This is how you reinvented yourself. This is why your person is big mad. Because you became out a brand new person when you disconnected from your person. They mad mad, okay? Because you did use your intuition. It's here. If, if with the solar plexus chakra and the intuition and spiritual strength, yeah. This is how you grew stronger. This is how you came out of wondering why you did this. Why you had to lie. Why you had to step out of the connection. Bells and whistles don't lie. You use your intuition here, baby. Something that you already knew. There's something that you already knew. You just need a proof. Proof of intentions. Now your person is suffering in silence. Your person is suffering in silence because they had a choice and the options. Their choices and options, they're, they're looking mighty dry. But they have to choose. Both options don't look that promising. So they're just sitting here, suffering, wondering why. Why did I have to do this? Why did I do this? Okay. Here you have accelerated motion and passion ignited. You have brand new beginnings here. Brand new opportunities, like I said, with this manifest that you're manifesting. Because you went inside yourself and discovered self all over again. This is the pressure and the stress that your spirit team is applying to your person. Because they're going to watch you. They're going to watch you create a new beginning. They're going to watch you create a new sense of self. A, 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 you're going to reinvent yourself. And with that reinventing yourself, you're going to attract new love, passionate love. And it's coming in fast, baby. The changes that you have made in yourself through this connection, it, it's making me feel like it happened all of a sudden. The new you that you created since separating from your person got your person's jaw on the floor. Your person is sitting here wondering why they even had a third party when everything that they wanted and needed and desired was within you. But your person was playing mind games. Okay? Your person was playing mind games here. Here. Trying to win at all costs. 
wanting to have their cake and eat it too. So you said, okay, go ahead, have your cake. Do you, boo? All right, Capricorns, I'm going to leave it right here. This is what I have for you. I hope these messages help. If it did, please drop a comment down below. And I'll see you in the next video. Till then, take care. Bye.